Nature is amazing, especially forest ecosystems. Forests are home to 80% of the world's living biodiversity. It's fair to say they are extremely important. Deforestation is unfortunately a huge threat to tropical rainforests around the world. If deforestation continues at its current rate, rainforests will not exist within 100 years, causing serious consequences to the climate, biodiversity and humanity. Many rainforests throughout the world have been affected by deforestation. The Congo Basin, Sumatra, Madagascar, Papua New Guinea and many others. But today we take a closer look at the largest tropical rainforest in the world, the Amazon. The focus will be on its importance, the effects of deforestation in the area, along with some interesting facts along the way. Let's check it out. Located in the center of South America, 60% of the Amazon is within the country of Brazil, taking up 5.5 million kilometers squared, 1.4 billion acres of forest, 6,600 kilometers of rivers, home to 1 in 10 species on Earth, including the jaguar, the cool parrot, the black spider monkey, and poison dart frog. Unfortunately, the Amazon has been the largest subject of deforestation. 51% of total forest loss in the world is here. Cattle ranching is the leading cause of deforestation in the Amazon forest at around 70% today. This is very different in contrast to other rainforests in the world, such as the Congo and Indonesia, where plantations are the main cause. Another motivation is the climbing land prices in the region. Forest land has limited value, however cleared pasture land is valuable. The land can be sold on to cattle ranchers and farmers. Much of the tree clearing to produce this land is illegal. During the 1990s through to the mid 2000s, a new soybean crafted to prosper in the Amazon became incredibly popular. Forest was turned into soy field. This was hugely profitable. Soy fields drove up the price of land, encouraging more tree destruction. By 2006, Brazilian authorities established new regulations banning the purchase of soy fields after June 2006. This was in response to Greenpeace campaigning. However, soy producing is still widespread in other surrounding countries, including Bolivia and Paraguay. It hasn't slowed deforestation in Brazil either, as they have moved on to other methods. This did, however, lead the way for further regulations. 2009, the Brazilian government established the Cattle Agreement. Its intention was to ban the selling of cattle from illegally deforested areas. Banks also gave low-interest loan incentives to environmentally compliant cattle ranches. Sounds good, right? However, in the years to come, new information has surfaced suggesting large slaughterhouses were gathering cattle from other illegal ranches, making the regulations far less effective. Subsistence agriculture is another concern. This means farming locally for family and small communities. The government has encouraged this practice by creating colonization programs granting people land in rural areas in the Amazon. The purpose of this is to ease population pressure in large cities. Unfortunately, this means increased population close to the Amazon and the desire for further infrastructure, buildings and roads, meaning more logging to open up space. Often these families are taken advantage of by private organisations. They will wait for them to clear the area, set up farms or ranches, then force them off the land. This is known as land grabbing. Organizations may also fund individuals to clear the land, often illegally deforesting protected or already claimed land. The organizations will then take over the land and move the individual elsewhere to repeat the process. Another cause of deforestation is man-made flooding. The Balbina Dam flooded around 2,400 kilometers of rainforest after it was completed. Hundreds of dams are planned for construction in the near future. 
mining for precious metals is on the increase. The price of gold has exploded during the COVID-19 pandemic, gaining the attention of gold miners, commercial and industrial industries. At this time, around 20% of the Amazon's forest has been cut. Scientists fear if we were to lose over 25%, the Amazon may enter an irreversible cycle and dry out into a desert known as a dieback. Overall deforestation has decreased in Brazil over the past 10 years. However, it has been on the rise over the past 3 years. Deforestation leads to biodiversity loss. Animal species that live in trees, the ground, the water are all affected when the habitat is completely removed. Tree species and plant life disappear. Everything is connected. If you remove one thing, it will affect the other. Many indigenous communities live in Amazon. Deforestation affects them too. For example, trees may be chopped, resulting in more runoff into the river, causing rivers to swell, flooding their homes nearby to the river. There we have it. I hope this video has helped you understand the reality of deforestation within the largest rainforest. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe button, and comment why you enjoyed it. I would like to know your thoughts. This video is a part of a series, so check out the next one on the importance of trees and biodiversity. It also has a created unit plan attached for teachers to use in the classroom. Link for the unit plan is in the description. Alright, that's all for now. I will see you in the next video. Catch you soon.